This is the first clinical coherent Raman scattering microscope. Uh, and the way this system works is that it's all based on fiber optic technology and fiber laser technology. I've set things up here so that we have a brain tumor uh, sample uh, loaded onto our microscope. And essentially what I do is uh, tell the microscope that I'd like to acquire a mosaic tile of the tissue specimen. And within seconds, we start to get images from this microscope. And what we'll see on the screen uh, is a green channel and a blue channel. And these are focusing on two vibrational frequencies of the tissue uh, that allow us to generate contrast to the image. Generally, what you see here is uh, in green is lipid rich structures. What's in blue is protein rich structures. So we actually can use that lipid protein ratio to see cells uh, in the tissue. And it allows us to differentiate between normal tissue, which is much less cellular, and tumor infiltrated tissue, which contains a lot of tumor cells. So we have an objective way of differentiating between tumor tissue and normal tissue. Um, so I'm gonna take you through a couple of images that we've acquired uh, in this microscope to demonstrate those differences between normal tissue and tumor infiltrated tissue very clearly. Uh, so the first thing that we'll do is start with a normal brain specimen. I'll focus in on, on this area of the normal brain. And what you can see here is a nice organization of the fiber structures within the brain. It's not very cellular, but what we do see is these streaky areas, which represent the axons that uh, nerve fibers put out to communicate with one another and to, with the rest of the body. In contrast to uh, this image of normal brain, we can look at an image of a highly abnormal section of tumor. And as we zoom in here, we see that this tissue is full of cells. Uh, there's none of this nice organization that's apparent in the normal brain. In contrast, uh, we see these very abnormal looking cells that are touching one another, uh, interspersed with blood vessels uh, that are also abnormal. And so you can imagine how we would be able to differentiate this tissue from this tissue, whereas macroscopically, these, these pieces of tissue actually look relatively similar. Um, and, and that's the basis for the difficulty in brain tumor surgery of differentiating the tumor from the normal brain.